the apricots are immediately here. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taste of whiskey.com. Today we have a look at the Tully Bardin, 25 years old. Price uh, close to 200. And this is one of the very rare bottles before or distilled before the long time of closure of the distillery. Tully Bardin uh, was founded or produced the first spirit in 1949 and they always show on the label the year 1488. Whiskey was first mentioned in Scotland in 1494. They had 500 years of whiskey distillation uh, in 1995. So this 1488 dates back to a to a buy of beer from a king passing this brewery then. There's also a tale that there was a whiskey distillery in this area, in this spot of land, but uh, where it was exactly is not uh, known. And uh, in 1947 they started to convert a local brewery into the distillery, to Libarin, and the first spirit flew in 1949. In 1979 the 71, uh, the distillery was taken over by Invergordon, the big Scottish company, whiskey company. And uh, then in 1993, uh, the distillery was taken over by White and McKay. And in that time, uh, Jim Beam bought Invergordon as well as White and McKay. So the former competitors had to act below one roof, and this was more worse than profitable and uh, it took some years and then 1995 the distillery was closed i was at the distillery the first time i think in 1995 or 1994 it wasn't working then i had no access to the distillery then i was a second time there in 2004 uh, but it was closed again there were uh, just running again. They started in 2003 um, and then uh, they built also a visitor center and a, a local uh, shop for local specialties and so on. So it's definitely a visit. Uh, and uh, Jim Beam de-invested then and sold White and McKay uh, to the management, there was a management buyout, and in this management buyout, the distillery was well uh, again de-invested by these management buyout people. I think I'm not quite sure in which sequence that that really happened. But to 2003, the distillery was sold to, I think, uh, a set of shareholders, which also contained some people from Switzerland and then shortly after the restart of the distillery, the start of distillation, uh, there were rumors that they are planning to sell the distillery when it's up and running. It took quite some time until 2011 and then they sold the distillery to Picard as Spiritueux, a French wine company. And from then on uh, the whiskies which were put on the market, I have a I tasted a few of them. I don't know exactly if in English language already. Well, I hope so. Um, and they were a lot better than those sold before from the old stock. The silly was sold for, I think, 1.1 million. There were rumors, 1.1 million pounds. Um, and that meant that there weren't uh, big stocks sold with the distillery. So, The first whiskies aged 1993, 1995, they were mediocre. Um, but 
then they uh, issued, I think in 2013, this 25-year-old and there was a 20-year-old already on the market. And uh, those are still from the production time before the clothing. So uh, <clears throat> I don't know how this whiskey will perform. And whenever I have such a big, huge, magnificent box, I open it here and have a look at this wonderful dark brown mahogany style whiskey. And inside there is some, well, silk looking plastic. <laughs> I'll put it over here so that I can show a picture of the label. <coughs> Here it is. There's a leaflet in and telling a history of the distillery uh, starting in 1488, as I said. King James IV of Scotland stopped by on his way to his coronation to purchase beer from the local brewery. So this is the foundation. <clears throat> and in 1949 the first spirit was distilled. In 1973, the capacity was increased with the addition of two more stills. <coughs> and here there are the 25 and 20 year old ones. And they say to the 25 years, this is benchmark to Libardin, full bodied, smooth and fruity in the mouth. There are a myriad of flavors coming from toffee, spice and dried apricots through to the more obvious barley and vanilla notes on the finish. This is a tulibardin to savor and take one time, one's time over. And there are the others finished. I think, no, I haven't tasted them already. I still have them on my table. There's a huge number of bottles still waiting to taste. And only time <laughs> and my liver <laughs> prohibits me. <clears throat> to taste them all in a short period of time. <clears throat> so here we go. The 1993 and the 1995 I'm aware of, uh, they were quite pale. So it, they were re-re-refill or single refill casks. Um, and this one looks and the smell of the cork uh, showed a sherry influence. Uh, but it might be the case that this one is finished. So this is not pure matured in a single cask over all those 25 years. The apricots are immediately here. And now is the time where the first fresh apricots came, come on the market. I had already this year some of them. And in the beginning it was fresh apricot, but the sweetness and the spiciness of the cask brought them to a more mature style, so to dried apricots. There's toffee present and it's really a complex one, lots of different aromas. But not too spicy and this is the first proof or sign that this one is finished. Strong, intense, spicy, and not bitter. So this is the second proof that this one is finished. Still fruity, probably a little sherry fruitiness. And gentle, not that spicy. These 
chocolate or ex espresso, cappuccino tastes are not there. It's full bodied, smooth, fruity. And again, this apricot style. Aftertastes, told that it's long and heavy. No, not too long. This long lasting bitterness is missing. Full, little oily. I think this one is finished. It's 43% ABV, not too strong and uh, not too oaky. So it's a well sipping whiskey, dangerously good sipping whiskey. Yeah, and it's one of the very, very last from the time before the closure of the distillery. So if you find a bottle, have 200 left, hmm, it's a buy. Yeah, it's not too expensive today for the ever increasing prices of 25 year old whiskies or older whiskies in general. So this one is a buy. Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned and feel free to share this video.